guys, I just had a very frustrating experience. I just finished making my New Year's live stream, and then I just realized that my microphone wasn't working. So it was, the audio was coming from my my cell phone microphone, and that's, I don't know, it's about maybe two or three meters away, and I was talking, you know, at a, at a normal, kind of a, a lower voice like I am now. So, I mean, there's no way you guys could have heard me really very well, so... Ah, it's a frustrating experience, you know, being a YouTuber, that's that's one of the reasons why I don't go live very often, because these kind of technical difficulties, you know, live videos, you know, when you have your audience watching and everything was, everything was working, I mean, everything's the same as it is right now, it's, it's, uh, my microphone is plugged into my phone and you, you, you should be able to be hearing me right now just like it like i mean it, like the live stream was supposed to be this this quality here so um i'm just going to make this video here and hopefully um hopefully you can hear me a little bit better i i won't go through the whole thing again but there was just a few words that i wanted to teach you in the live stream i mean the main purpose of the live streams are just to hang out with you guys just cuz i like to hang out read the comments and uh, you know just just have a live chat with you. So that was great. Um, thank you guys for joining me in that live stream. But I, I asked this question in the live stream. And then I after this, I taught a, an important word, probably the only important word in the live stream. So the question was, do you think 2022 will be a great year? Do you think it'll be a great year? Or do you think we will see the revealing of the son of perdition the son of perdition have you ever heard that word before see with the audio here if i'm facing the audio you should be able to be hearing me really well even though like even if i whisper right if i whisper you should be able to hear me pretty well but if this microphone is not working right now there's no way you would hear me whispering <laughs> from my iPhone microphone way over there. So uh, hopefully the microphone is working and you guys can hear me. So son of perdition. Um, this is a this is an interesting term. I was listening to a, a podcast just a few hours ago, and the person in the podcast used this term, son of perdition. And so I thought, hey, you know what? I should I should teach my subscribers this word, son of perdition. Right now, this word is, it's kind of a, a religious word, um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. I mean, in, in, I've seen some movies where they use this, this word, where they, they talk about the son of perdition in, you know, in a way to, well, I'll, I'll tell you what this means. But my point is that the, uh, that it's mostly a religious word. But you could maybe find this term in even secular contexts. Okay, the word secular means non-religious. Okay, so son of perdition, um, it's mostly religious, but it, it, you know, you'll probably hear it sometime in your life. So that's why I like teaching these kind of vocabulary words that, that are a bit more advanced, and you might not know what What's this talking about? Son of perdition. All right, well, let's let's look at that. What does the word perdition mean? Okay, perdition is another word for hell or destruction, right? Perdition, hell, it's like the final place of destruction. We're talking about ultimate destruction, right? So it's kind of an old-fashioned word, I would say. You don't hear it very often. I mean, this word you hear, you know, quite frequently hell, right? But perdition is more more of a bit of like an old-fashioned, can feel a burp coming up. I just drank uh, in my live stream, I just drank the uh, this uh, fake champagne. It's, it's organic sparkling apple pear juice. So that was great. I really enjoyed that. But uh, it was so, I, right after I finished making the live stream, I listened to the audio and it was just terrible audio. So that's why I thought I should at least teach this word again. 
because this is the most important one I probably taught you. So, um, so what, when we talk about the son of perdition, okay, we're talking about most of the time when people use this, this term son of perdition, they're talking about the antichrist. Okay. Now the antichrist is a figure that appears on the earth, um, sometime in the future in several religions, including Christianity and Islam. Okay. So Christians and Muslims believe, and maybe other religions too, believe that the Antichrist is coming. Okay, a man. The Antichrist will be a man, a bad man, right? You don't want to be the Antichrist. I hope you're not the Antichrist. Okay, and the Antichrist will reign on the earth, will like rule the earth. He'll be like the, the ruler of the whole earth for a while. Okay, for a period of time, and then he will go to destruction. He will be destroyed. Okay, so there are different kind of different terms for this person. Um, like the, I think the son of lawlessness might be another term. Uh, but the Antichrist is the most common one. And sometimes you hear people talk about this, the, the son of perdition. Okay, so I just wanted to, to teach that to you guys so so that you know... If you ever hear this word in a movie, you'll know, oh, perdition. It's a bad, it's a bad place, right? It's, we're talking kind of about destruction, hell. And the son of perdition is most commonly used to describe the antichrist. I mean, it might have other meanings. It just means like someone who's, who's destined for final destruction, Right now, we don't know really who's headed for destruction or not, right? Only God knows that. So that's why we don't really use this term for normal people. But for the Antichrist, at least in the Bible, it talks about the son of perdition um, as the, a, a person who's, who's like doomed to be destroyed, who's destined for that, right? Like if we look around, if you go shopping in a, in a mall... You know, who, how do you know? Is that person destined for destruction? Is that person destined for destruction? I mean, you don't really know, right? But but um, the Antichrist is destined for destruction. So that was my question for you guys. Will Do you think 2022 will be a good year? Or will it be... Or will we see the rise of the, the son of perdition? You know, like I said, we this is a very... Actually, a very important... Um, point in in some religions, and so people think about it. You know, when, when is where where is the antichrist going to come from? Who is the antichrist going to be? What's his nationality? What's his ethnicity going to be? Where is he coming from? You know, or they're kind of like eh, let's keep an eye out for him, right? So yeah, this is a is a pretty big theme in in Christianity, and I think in Islam as well. So. So it's, I just thought I should teach this to you guys so that if you ever hear this term, if you're watching a movie or if you're chatting with someone and they use this term, then you kind of have an idea of what they're talking about. You know, it's, it's uncomfortable being in a situation where you have no idea what someone is saying, right? Let's say you're talking to someone, they use some word or they're talking about something you don't know what they're saying. It's like, it's uncomfortable, right? It's better to be in the know. In the know means you're you're in a situation where you understand what's going on, right? So that's why I try to teach you these kind of advanced vocabulary words here at Mad English TV, because I want you to be in the know. I want to help you. I don't want you to be in that uncomfortable position where you, you know, you don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I've been in those situations and it's 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 not comfortable. So um, yeah. So my question was, uh, will we see the rise of the son of perdition? In 2022, do you believe in uh, in, in this? This are, are you are you expecting at some point in the future? Like I said, nobody really knows, you know, when this is going to happen. But in in you know the news that I've been reading over the past few weeks, we're starting to see more like doomsday talk. You know, people are talking about maybe the collapse of the American dollar or the, or the 
the collapse of the Western hemisphere, like, like Western society, just complete collapse, right? So I'm starting to see more and more of this stuff in the news and to hear more people talking about it. So it's almost like people are looking for doomsday. Right now, I've made a couple of videos in the past few months, you know, teaching the words like doomsday or apocalypse, that kind of language. So you can uh, check check those videos. But um, I just wanted to teach this term, son of perdition, because I've never taught that here on my channel before. And it's it's kind of an interesting word. So guys, I think that's, that's the other... Was that it? Oh, yeah. And then I was just... Another one I was teaching you guys was this one, the stroke of midnight. Right when these hands all point up to 12 on a clock. Right, this hand here is called the second hand. It ticks every second, right? Tick, 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 tick. This long one here is the minute hand. And the short one is the hour hand. Okay, so when the when all the hands point up to the 12, that is the stroke of midnight. The stroke of midnight. <laughs> all right. So the new year starts at the stroke of midnight. All right. We're almost there. And then click when it ticks over. That is the stroke of midnight. So right now it's, uh, it's a few minutes after midnight. I just realized the audio quality sucked in my live stream. So so I just wanted to teach you guys uh, just, the, just that kind of important vocabulary. And I'll just re rehash just a couple phrases here in case right now that I have it up, I may as well, right? So I was just uh, teaching this phrase, you know, sometimes at the end of a year, people will say this, you know, out with the old, in with the new. So if we're thinking about 2021, you know, it's, uh, it might have had some challenges, ups and downs, you know, it's now that's past us, out with the old, in with the new. 2022. So um, another one that people say sometimes is it's it's time to turn over a new leaf, right? Time to turn over a new leaf. Now, when native English speakers talk, very often they don't use complete sentences. So this is not a complete sentence here, right? But you'll see, I, I ended it with a period and I started it with a capital letter. So it looks like a sentence. Right? But remember, a sentence needs um, like a subject and a verb. Right? So time to turn over a new leaf, that doesn't really make sense. So the, the, the real sentence is, it is time to turn over a new leaf. Right? It is time. But sometimes we don't say the first couple of words. We just say time. Time to turn over a new leaf. Or you could say, oh, time to leave. I got to run, right? Time. You don't have to say it is time to leave. You can just say, ooh, time to time to leave or time to run, right? So, yeah, you know, people might say it's time to turn over a new leaf. That just means you know, a new period of life, right? Um, or they might say it's time to turn a new page, or it's time to enter a new chapter in our in our lives, right? So there are different metaphors you know you can use to, to describe entering into a new period. You can say leaf, page, chapter, a bunch of those ones, right? So um, yeah, guys, and I was just asking you about your New Year's resolutions, what your New Year's resolutions are for 2022. A resolution just means something that you're going to kind of be committed to in the new year, something that you want to change or you want to, you want to, you know, maybe, maybe you want to achieve something like, I don't know, maybe you want to finish your studies or you want to lose weight or you want to make money or save money or stop eating chocolate or, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, that's that's what the word resolution means. It just means a, a commitment to um, to change, right? So hopefully you guys can hear me a lot better. I'm really hoping it's going to work this time so I don't have to keep making this video. <laughs> It'd be so depressing if I just tried again and then it was bad again. I think it was something to do with the live stream. So like I said, I 
with live streams, it's kind of unpredictable how it's going to turn out. So, um, yeah, guys, I was just asking you, what are your New Year's resolutions for 2022? Hey, guys, I hope you're having a, a great year so far. You know, it's uh, I've started 2022 already. I guess I started it off on a bad note. <laughs> I started it off with my live stream microphone not working. Hopefully that's not uh, an indicator of how the whole year is going to go. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just uh, pour myself a little bit more of this champagne. And well, it's not real champagne. It's non-alcoholic champagne. But uh, let's hear some noises outside, guys. Oh, and uh, another thing that I, when I pop the cork off here it flew up and it was a kind of a cool sound i don't know if you could hear it in my phone microphone but in this microphone it would have been much better so i apologize for that guys i apologize for the bad audio quality sometimes i have technical difficulties sometimes it's my mistake sometimes it's not my like this time it wasn't my mistake i just i don't know what happened so anyway anyway guys i'll wish you cheers once again even though this is not a live video i'm recording this so hopefully the audio will be will be better but anyway cheers um yeah i love you guys so much thank you for sticking with me for 2021 i wish you all the best in 2022 hope you're safe healthy happy you and your family i wish you all the best prosperity success all the good all good wishes from my heart to your heart so guys with that i'll toast to you toast just means i'm i'm uh kind of celebrating something about you. And uh, like I said in the live stream, toast can be a noun, like a breakfast food that you eat, right? Toasted bread, right? That's that's toast, but to toast is a verb. It just means to, um, like, like I could say, you know, to your health. I'm toasting to your health, or I'm toasting to 2022. Hopefully it's a great year. Hopefully we can finally kick this pandemic to the curb. If you kick something to the curb, that means you um, get rid of it. You know, you kick. let's kick this pandemic to the curb. So that's it, guys. God bless you. Thank you again for all your support for this last year. And uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>